You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the Kings for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, BREF, His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and in the attendance of the Vice Presidents of the Supreme Council for the Environment, the SCE, SCYS Coordination, Implementation and Follow up Committee Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, crowned Team Victorious, the champion of the opening race of the international endurance season for a distance of 120 kilometers. For this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed happiness that Team Victorious won the first place in the race and lauded Team Road for coming in second. His Highness affirmed that the race witnessed a fierce competition with the participation of a number of European knights and other countries over the two days. In regards to the organizational level of the race, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his appreciation for the outstanding efforts made by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, headed by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to create the ideal atmosphere for the stables and riders and to produce the race in the best way in the midst of district or rather distinct organizational procedures to implement the health procedures issued by the coordination committee to combat coronavirus indicating that the federation has conducted more than a thousand tests for coronavirus for participants and parties working in the race for his part his highness sheikh isa bin abdullah al khalifa expressed his thanks and appreciation to his highness sheikh nasr bin hamad al khalifa for the continuous support and follow-up of his highness of the endurance races indicating that this support and follow-up contributed to achieving full success and the season's opening race and a great motivation to continue successes in upcoming races. Earlier yesterday, under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the qualifying round of the new season of the endurance race commenced with the participation of 160 horsemen and women. His Highness witnessed the 40 and 80 kilometer races with the attendance of the President of the Supreme Council for the Environment and Deputy Chairman of the Coordination, Execution and Following Up Committee of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and the President of the Endurance Committee, Sheikh bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Highness expressed happiness with the preparations that have taken place prior to the races, which will result in exciting races and a great performance. He also affirmed that the races will be more exciting in light of the participation of elite stables that have achieved great results. His Highness expressed pride in the sport, which affirms the kingdom's progress in the field and wished all contestants the best of luck. The young horseman, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Faisal Al Khalifa, continued his success in endurance races as he participated in yesterday's race with Team Victorious. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Faisal expressed thanks and appreciation for His Highness Sheikh Nasser's support, which provides an incentive to gamer further or rather garner further achievements. His Highness also thanked his father, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid, for his support and follow-up as it provides further incentives for further achievements in the upcoming period.
The Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa paid an inspection visit to the duty forces of the BDF participating in the Arab Coalition forces led by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Upon his arrival at the King Fahad Air Base in Taif, the BDF Commander-in-Chief was received by the Commander of Taif Military Region, Assistant Commander of King Fahad Air Base in the Western Sector, the Consul General of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Jeddah, Commander of the Bahraini Battle Group of the Royal Bahraini Air Force and a number of senior officers. During the visit, the Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force met with officers, non-commissioned officers and members of the duty force group of the Royal Bahrain Air Force at the King Fahad Air Base in Taif. He also was informed of the progress of the Bahraini forces and the results of their operations. The BDF Commander-in-Chief provided the forces with his directives and instructions and urged them on the importance of continuing their efforts, diligence and dedication in carrying out the tasks assigned to them. The BDF Commander-in-Chief also conveyed to the forces the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander. On the occasion of the visit, the Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force expressed his pride in the officers non-commissioned officers and members of the duty force of the Kingdom of Bahrain for the participation in the operations of the Arab Coalition and implementation of the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa within the mutual defense agreement with the countries of the GCC. The Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force also praised the men of the Bahrain Defense Force from form rather carrying out the supreme duty with courage to defend and preserve Arab national security and regional stability, praying to God Almighty to help them, protect them, and support them with their brothers from all the forces stationed on the borders of the brotherly kingdom of Saudi Arabia in the air, land, and sea. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 2,284 with 245 recoveries and 162 registered new cases. 51 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 101 are contacts of active cases, 10 are travel-related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.